I think he's waiting for me to get my KTM. I'm getting a bit brave now. Probably one of the stupidest things that I could do, but there you go. Yeah, I've been um, I've been looking at uh, proper motocross boots or enduro boots because a lot of the lads are saying, you know, that foot and leg injuries are very likely if you don't have adequate protection. So, uh, but the only one that I think is going to be any good to me. Will be the um, City Crossfire um, boot, and uh, that's bloody nearly 300 quid. That's a lot of gas money. So, but then again, can I afford to be off work for however long with a broken leg? I suppose I don't know. I mean, I've got proper boots on now you know and they're, they're proper motorcycle boots they are you know fairly stout things but they don't have the armor on that so uh, the proper enduro mx boots have on but the thing with the city boots because uh, there are cheaper boots obviously is that they're hinged in two places and because I'm very short I need to be able to point my foot to be able to um, put my foot down um, especially when I get the KTM um, so I need a boot that can is maneuverable that allows the movement in my legs um, so I can you know paddle my bike on tip toes and proper motocross boots, no way, my brother's got a pair and they're just like iron. Hello Lammykins! Let's have a look, sorry. I'm well into cute animals. Hello! Hello! Woohoo! Hello! <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's enough of the fenmen inside. But the, um, there's so many of them out and they're lovely when they're babies. I don't want to upset their mothers. Um, yeah, so, anyway, I'm uh, currently scanning eBay for a second hand pair. Because, like I said, 300 quid is an awful lot of petrol that I could be enjoying. I'm going to need that to get me, uh, get me bike running and KTM running. I don't need to... This is the practice I needed, the rut riding. This cake when it's dry, it's when it's wet. Slow down there, boy. You're getting a bit gnarly. There we go, we've got some woofers now. I mean, I, could, I don't know, I didn't think that I would like this quite so much. Um, and if you'd have told me six months ago that I'd be selling, well, effectively sold my R1 to buy an off-road uh, off bike, I thought you were crazy, because I believe me, I love my R1. 
most fantastic bike but I just don't use it and I can't use it anywhere near how I want to use it and not because I can't because I daren't because they're getting nicked because the thing only generates any kind of excitement when you're doing soap on a rope speed so like I said before if there was no speed limit I'll be keeping the R1 because that's you know But this is equally good fun at much lower speeds and hopefully not likely to get been put in prison for it unless Janet Streetport gets her own way of course and she'll have anybody who likes any kind of fun put in prison Oh, fun that doesn't agree with her sort of fun, that is. So, uh, there you go. This is life. And while it's legal, and I'm able, I'm going to hopefully be able to do it. teach myself to read these read further ahead on the track Why don't I go in the middle in the first place? Dear idea. Less stones and less bumps. Right now, what are we gonna do? We're, gonna, we're definitely not going down in that. We're going to the left. That is just that's a mud pie. Well, I tell you what, anybody who's got false teeth, take them out before you start this. Thankfully I haven't, but they'd shake them, shake them out of your mouth. Here we are. There we go, there and back. I can recommend that, I like that. It's all right, that. Whew, right, let's switch this camera off. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Met some nice people. What more can you want? Look at these scrotums. Look, they're bloody rubbish. What is wrong with you? I had a bloody black bag on me, I'll pick that lot up. I just don't understand all that. Beautiful country, and they want to shit it up.